What is up you guys? Okay, I'm really excited about this video. This is one of my first ever unboxing videos and I'm excited about my choice of attire today. One, because it matches my room really, really well and also because this is kind of like a Disney themed video. It is a crop top, so that's why I cut the video off here so it's a little bit more appropriate. It's, it's just a comfy loungewear type of like, I don't even know what to call this fabric. It's like a stretchy fabric. It was super cheap. It was on Amazon. I'll link it down below. I just thought it was adorable. It says never stop dreaming on it, which is so on brand. It's not even funny. Now today's video, I'm about to blow your mind and I'll show you like a little bonus tip at the end of this. But those of you that understand the love of Disney World and have been to Disney World, you have experienced the magical smells all around Disney and it's a huge part of being in the parks even going to the new Pandora area in Animal Kingdom there are smells as you're walking around there if you've ever walked down Main Street USA you know that it smells like the bakery and it's not they're all fictional smells I don't want to like ruin the magic for you but I have kind of figured out how they did it. Now, I feel like there's gonna be some Imagineers out there that are like, no, don't share the secret. But I found this on a discussion board because frankly, I just wanted our house to smell like Disney, which is really, really crazy. I understand that, but hear me out. So a couple of the hotels that we love Yacht Club would probably be our all-time favorite hotel on the boardwalk. Beach Club is right next to it. The Grand Floridian is another one of our favorite hotels. I think the Contemporary Hotel has this scent as well. And it's called the Green Clover and Aloe. I actually asked the front desk and they gladly told me. So that was kind of my starting point. And I started Googling stuff. And you could, of course, if you want this smell in your house, get like a diffuser with oil that has that smell or make your own candles. I know that they sell a lot of these candles on Etsy. Um, it's very expensive for a Canadian to buy those candles. So that's why I did this. So I'm really excited. This is actually the tool that Disney uses. Now they, I believe have like the industrial size of it for a hotel, but this is the home version and I'm gonna unbox it with you guys. Are you ready? I'm kind of excited. So this came in. Now, disclaimer, I had to have an American friend order this for me and ship it to me because I don't ship to Canada. It's called a scent HD machine. So I'm gonna, sounds like there's like some rattling going on in there already. And I ordered two cartridges to go with this and I'm gonna explain everything. Hopefully everything's in one piece. I'm really surprised that there was no like foam. My gosh, I'm terrified that it's like broken. I hope it's not, imagine it's broken. How, how bad would that be? Okay, so the little fan, huh, is broken. Most interesting unboxing I think I've ever done. Awesome, there's a piece missing, don't worry. We are resourceful humans. So this is what the machine actually looks like. And then there seems to be like a piece. There's a fan back here that's supposed to go. We interrupt our program. All right, so slight change in plans. Uh, this has never happened before, but when I opened it, there was like rattling pieces and it looked like the actual fan had all, so all four attachments to the fan, which is a crucial part of the machine because the fan is what pushes the scent out into the space. That was broken and then there was like a piece, like this long of a piece that was broken off as well. So the only solution I guess would be to crazy glue it. And I had crazy glue, but not strong enough crazy glue. It was like nail crazy glue, not gonna work. So I went to Canadian Tire and I got two types of glue. I got Gorilla Glue and I got Lepage. What'd the guy call the glue? What'd the guy call the two-step glue? An epoxy, an epoxy. Oh. It yes, it worked. He's very concerned. I managed to attach it all back together and it's drying right now. It was just weird because it was all four pieces, right? So you kind of have to like balance it together. I think it's fixed. The problem is, is that I know what you guys are gonna say. Why don't you just return it? I had them ship it to my friend in the States and my friend shipped it to me. She didn't, she never took it out of the box, but what do you think they're gonna say? That it's when she shipped it to me. So I know what's gonna happen if I do that and then they would have to ship it back to her and she'd have to pay to ship it back to me. There's no point in doing that. If you guys order one, make sure that it's all in one piece, I guess. So I've inserted the green clover and aloe cartridge, which is what I'm gonna show you. I feel like this video went from like the most exciting video to like kind of sad, but it's fixed now. But the ultimate test will be once I turn it on. So these are what the cartridges look like. I'm not gonna unwrap this one. This is the Christmas thyme spruce. So this would be for Christmas, but you can kind of see it in there. So the 
beige part that you can see, that's the actual scent. And then this is what you see out the back of the machine. So the fan is pushing the scent out into the room and you can set a timer and everything on the scent machine itself. So it's called a scent HD. It's from scentair.com. I will link everything down below as well as the two scents that I got. As far as I know, those are the ones that they have in Disney. If you see like a bakery one or a cinnamon bun one, obviously that's the one that they have on Main Street, but 100% the smell in the Yacht Club, Beach Club, Grand Floridian, and Contemporary, I believe, is green clover and aloe. 100% it's what they have in the Yacht Club because I asked them. So they usually hide them in these little areas. Like I know on Main Street, it's in areas under the windows like you can actually see the holes for them and then same thing in the christmas store how it smells really um christmasy in the christmas store that's the smell that they use there's another christmas cartridge that wasn't out yet that might be the one that they use but this smells pretty freaking close this one smells like christmas tree mixed with like a little bit of cinnamon and cloves and deliciousness i'm really excited for this one as well the green clover and aloe is all hooked up i plugged it in i'm gonna set the timer the big test will be when i turn the van on but it looks good. So I want to share that with you guys as like a little Disney hack. But listen, if you don't want to go out and buy the big machine, obviously you can get candles. Obviously, like I said, there's Disney candles on Etsy. There's a bunch of different companies. They all look amazing. Like I said, they it's like a bajillion dollars to ship it to Canada. So I don't order them. You can, of course, go to Bath and Body Works as well. But I wanted to share this little hack. So I use either a diffuser in our house, like you would just add water to a diffuser as well as a couple drops of oil and your house will smell delightful, or you can do it in a ceramic burner where you burn the oils, same thing. These oils are fuego and I found them on Amazon and I just wanted to share like three of them. I have, a, I have another one that's going in the other room and it smells like kind of fall harvest amazingness it's called harvest spice that one has like an orange label on it so this one is forest pine so if you're looking for like an upcoming like christmasy fall it's it's delightful christmas wreath smells like life itself and then campfire because i know that a lot of disney freaks want like the rome is burning smell campfire is like it just smells like like a fireplace it's amazing they have a ton of them and they're really not that bad i think this size, the 30, so it's a one ounce, 30 milliliter. I think they're about 7.95 on Amazon. So I'll link these down below as well. They have a ton of flavors. Um, they smell like Disney, they're amazing. You don't wanna go with the big machine itself. I do feel like I haven't done a very good job selling the machine. <laughs> not that it, not that I'm sponsored, thank God. But I did just wanna share my experience. I thought it was a really cool hack. I do not think that the machine comes broken for everybody. I do think it's really freaking weird that they don't ship it with foam all around it but it seems to be fixed it seems to be working the real test will be when i turn it on so let's go check it out all right so this is where we are going to put it this is kind of like our space right now andre's feeding carl so we're gonna put it right back here on top of the this is a subwoofer right is that what you call it an amp, an amp. we're gonna put it on this amp and that way it won't be like right in our face. So right now I'm going to set the timer, but you can see the fan back there, moment of truth. Okay, then come a hero. I'm excited. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so there, well you can see the information right there, envirosent.com. So it's on a timer right now, so it's going to Hopefully that wasn't it breaking. I think it's on intervals. So I think that it works. Yeah. Okay. So let's set the timer. Now our house will smell like Disney World. We've both been waiting for 